Good morning, Triple H Farm. I am Ashley. Thank you so much for coming back and visiting with us today. Today we are going to do a rabbit update. It's gonna be able to grow quick. Just show you guys the rabbits. We have a lot of things that will be changing here in the next few weeks um, on the homestead and in our personal lives. So um, we're just gonna do some quick videos. Don't, I'm, I'm probably won't be posting as much as I usually do. Not that I post a lot anyways, it's a lot for me, but you know, once probably just once a week, I'll be posting maybe a couple of times a week, depending on what it is. So anywho, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go check out these little babies. So these little guys here are um, Rose and Cherry's babies. All right, come on, little guy. Come on, you gotta move so I can open the door. Thank you. Or I can just squish you, it's cool. All right. Oh my goodness. All right, so they all look the same, right? How am I supposed to tell that they're rose and cherries? Okay, so cherries, hey little guy, can I see you? Can I see you? First off, cherries, see how big he is? Compared to, ouch. Compared to roses back here. That's one way to tell the, the difference. Um, Cherry's babies were born on the 22nd and they were born on the 23rd. Um, also, if you look in their ear, come here, come here. You see, I've got a C. That tells me it's Cherry's baby. Um, there was only, I think, six in Cherry's litter. So, um, they grew, they got a lot more milk when they were nursing versus 11 in Rose's litter. You know, they didn't, they had to share milk, so they didn't grow as big so far. So, anywho, this is, don't you bite me. You gonna bite me again today. You gonna bite me again today. Stop it. Stop nibbling. I know, I know it's a sign of affection, but it tickles. It tickles when you nibble. It does. It tickles when you nibble. Yes, I know. This is a sign of affection. That means this one likes me. So, hi. Anywho, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, these guys are uh, the 22nd, so they're about seven weeks old now. Quit nibbling. Quit nibbling. I know every time. Um, Cherry's babies are a little more friendly than Rose's, but that's because my daughter came out and played with Cherry and her babies every day while they were little. So they're a little more um, apt to be in to people. But that could change. All you got to do is keep up with them. Wow, you got excited. So all you have to do is um, love on them and they'll be great pets. Hey there. So. Alrighty, next next babies. I know, I know, I know. We are. All right, the next babies we have are Jules Litter or Jules Kendall. Sorry, gotta go this way. I can't see what I'm doing because it won't let me flip the camera around on my phone. I'll have to Google on how to do that. So, anywho, once I start recording, it won't let me flip it. So, anyways, so here is Jules litter they were born on the 29th of april nope may January, February, march april no april 429 and they're coming up on 10 or 11 weeks i think i think they're about almost 11 weeks old um so they have about a week left before they go to freezer camp so um they are for sale so if somebody wants to um, by them I have one female one male so one buck and one doe the one that's all white is a buck and this pretty girl right here that's a girl but there was I think 15 in this in this one and these are the last two that are left and I love both of them so much they've got such pretty colors and this white one's got little brown spots everywhere. So this is mama. 
These are all of my mamas. These are a few of my mamas. They are so happy right now because uh, we stopped breeding in April. So these are their last litter, their last Kindles coming out. So they are taking a sabbatical until September because it's just too hot. It gets like 90 to 100 degrees here um, without humidity. And then you got to add the humidity on top of that and, you know, heat index and all that mess. So it gets to be about 110 degrees here during the day. So we don't, um, that's just, that's just too, too hot. I mean, I was pregnant during the summer. It was just too hot. So here's my girls, my other girls. I won't bring them since you're here. So we did finally get to put, there's Francesca and her little nosy butt. Winona's over there. And then Lady is the one with the white head and Princess is the other one. The bard rock and we finally got them two in here they've been in here for about a week so they are um they're getting used to everything and how everything is going but we finally got them now i just have to get them to lay their eggs in the nest box because right now i got to go in there and find them so um there's those then let me walk over here to these babies Oh, man, my <clears throat> All right, so these babies we have in a, um, a tractor here, and I will open the tractor. I'll open the tractor in just a second. But these are Sugar and Scarlet's babies. They were born, they're two days apart. Sugar's babies are born on the 22nd. They're the black babies, and Scarlet's were born on the 24th. They're the brown. Now you ask, oh, why are they in a tractor and the other ones aren't? Well, because I ran out of places to put them. So we have, uh, so they're in the tractor, so they get to run around on the grass for a little while. And then once I, in a couple of weeks, when those other two, if they're sold or not, in a couple of weeks, we will take these guys and put them in there until they get too big for that. And then we'll probably use them in this again because I have two of these. But here we go, there are Cherry and there's a spider right there. Mm -hmm. So these are Cherry and, um, nope, not Cherry, Scarlet and Sugar's Babies. Now this one I have is my all black. He, it's a boy, it's a buck. He is not showing any signs of any other color none at all and that amazes me because um his daddy is a red and his mom's got red in her but her his mom is black the rest of these guys they are um they showing a little um silver silver tips on them and uh and some red or brown or chestnut or whatever you want to call it whatever color you want to call it so all right Sorry about that quick movement, but alrighty, that is it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna be trying some new stuff out because um, like I said, we have a lot, lot, lot going on in our lives right now. So um, YouTube is one of those things that we're just gonna be putting on the back burner. Um, not that I don't want to do it because I love doing it. I love helping you guys out, showing you around the farm and such, you know, things like that. But, um, you know, when personal life gets in the way, you have to prioritize. And this time of year with gardening and um, rabbits and everything else, it's, uh, it's a lot. So you kind of have to prioritize what you're going to do when you're going to do it. So, um. I have my phone on me all the time, so there'll probably be, probably be more videos like this where there's, they're unedited, they're just raw, they're just there, um, versus when I actually get my video camera recorder thingy out and start recording and actually being able to edit them on my computer. So, um, 
yeah. But that's everything today. There's my cucumbers. Look at how ginormous. We get at least one five gallon bucket every two days, two, three days. So, um, anywho, yeah, well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and share, comment. You know, I love hearing from you guys. Um, and don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe next time I post a video, you will get notified. So thank you guys again. Love y'all. See you next time. Ta-ta for now.